one third of Israel being beamed up. And you're gonna be sitting there looking stupid, man. You're gonna have a look, a dumbass look in your face, man. Go ahead, Reed. This was it. You got something, brother? Go ahead, brother. John 3:18. Uh -huh. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believe not. It's condemned already. Right, con. So you're gonna be for, for those who believe, those are the ones that's gonna be saved. And the ones that's been set up from the foundations of the earth, you already condemned, man. You were set up to be condemned. Matter of fact, get that Revelation 22 and 11. Oh, people see it, they be like, what the hell he what is this the book? Uh -huh. Go ahead. Book of Revelation, chapter 22. Verse 11, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. See, hey, we ain't out here for everybody, man. You know? Hey, if you, you ain't got to believe, man. Somebody get Romans 3 and 3. You ain't got to believe, man. We don't care if you get it or not, man. You know? We're not out here for you. We out here fishing for the elect, man. Go ahead, read. He let him be unjust still. Right, we gonna let you be unjust still, man. You can talk shit, you can scoff, and you can keep on walking down the street. We don't give a f we don't care, man. So let him be. I had that for you, but that's how he got it. Oh, okay, con. Go ahead, read. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Go ahead. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. See, the righteous is set up, man, already, man, from the foundations, man. You were born to be righteous, man. You were born to come out here and do this work. That's right. Go ahead. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And that's just plain, man. From the foundations of the earth, you're going to, the Lord selects you to be righteous, man. And ain't nothing you can do about it. You know? Ain't nothing nobody can do about it. That's right. You know? These, these, these faggots, though, you're going to be destroyed, man. Thus say the Lord, man, you men out here with these effeminate spirits, you're not going to enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. We got a precept, bro. Go ahead, bro. This is, uh, everybody's ordained for good or for bad, you know? Con, con. It says, uh, this is Jew 1 and 4. It says, for there be a certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of the... Of, uh, of our power, Yahweh, into lasciviousness and Come, denying right. the only Lord Yahweh. And that's talking about the false, the, the, mainly them preachers in them yeah. churches, man. Yeah. You know, they done took the word of the Heavenly Father and turned it into a lustful yeah. thing, man. Yep. You know? Go ahead. But the point was ordained to this condemnation you, for, yeah, before God, they, they was ordained to be wicked, man. That's right. Set up for wickedness, you were set up to distract. The two thirds of Israel to keep them blind, man. That's right. And that by the heavenly Father. I believe it's a scripture in Proverbs that says the Lord have created all things for Himself, Come. even the wicked for the day of destruction. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Who got that? In, uh, that uh, one scripture. Uh -huh. Yeah. Romans three three. Uh huh. For what if some did not believe? Uh huh. Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? All right, come, man. Hey, hey, you like, like I said, man. You ain't gotta believe this, man. You're not gonna stop. The, the, um, the word of the, the Most High from going out, man, and reaching the elect. You know, the, mo the word of the Heavenly Father gonna do what it, what it need to do. It's gonna wake up the elect, man. They gonna hear the voice of the Lord, and they gonna come in, man. You can talk shit all you want. You can scoff all you want. We ain't out here for you. Go ahead, read. God forbid, uh -huh. yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, right, as huh. it is written. Right, that's right, man. That's why we come up out of these scriptures, man. We don't come up out of our, out of our feelings. We don't come out of our own vain opinion, you know? We don't come out of our own mind, man, you know? Go ahead, bro. Slack it, go ahead, bro. That thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. That's right, God. That's right, you know? We, we get justified by this, man. We backed up by the word, man, because that's what we come out of, man. You know, you can't come out out of your own opinion. Your own opinion is gonna get you destroyed, man. Because it's false. That's right, man. It's an imagination. That's right, man. And that's who somebody get that, man. Yeah, I had that too. You got something? Yeah. All right. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, Ezekiel two and uh, two and nine. It's like it. Two and three. He said, and he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee, I send thee to the children of Israel. Oh, not everybody. 
Yeah, yeah, God. That's why. Mm -hmm. That's why I got it. To the to the children of Israel, mm -hmm. to a rebellious right, nation bro. that have rebelled against me, they have, they and their fathers have transgressed against me, right, even until the very day, for they are impute. Like, for they are impute. Impotent. Imp imputed. Imputed. Right, it's like, you know, that's how we salute. Yeah. Shit. Uh, hey, man, that dude come and sit right there every weekend. Bro. Oh, dude, how you yeah. doing? Yeah. 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 yeah, but look. I was a brother. It's like, it's not damn it, though. Because it's back yeah, I just uh, see this. This is I civilization, brother. But uh, but but the white man came. Okay. But they are impotent children. Stiff-hearted, I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Power, and they and. And they, rather they will hear, or rather they will forbear. Con, right. So whether you whether you will hear this or for, forbear, right. our job is still, nevertheless, to come out here to uh, uh, prophesy the downfall of America and to wake up our people, man. The elect. The elect. That's right. Even it's still even for you two thirds to hear it, though, man. That's, That's right. basically what they're yeah. saying, man. Yeah, because we only out here. Yeah, because we only out here for to, to do one or two things, man. We are out here to condemn you. Or to, or, or for the, uh, the elect to hear this, man. That's to wake right. up, man. That's right. That's, that's it. Right. That's it, man. And that condemning, that's gonna come because you're gonna be rejected. That's right. Man. You two thirds, you, you, you Israelites that reject the truth, you you gonna be condemned, man. By the heavenly Father, man. When he come, man, ain't gonna be no excuse, man. Cause you heard it, man. The word that came out. He said, for they, for they are a rebellious house. Yet shall, yet shall know. And, and what's that rebellious house? All 12 tribes, man. All 12 tribes of Israel. You've been rebellious to the Heavenly Father. That's the reason why we over here in America serving out of captivity, man. That's why we at the bottom, man. That's why we out here catching hell, man. We got we got this weak ass so-called white man over us, man. That should tell you something. Every nation. Every, every, con, every nation. And they all weaker than us, man. That should tell you something, man. You know? That's that's part of that thought process you had growing up. Like, why is these weak people over us? What the hell? You know? All right, he said, yet shall ye know uh, that there has been a prophet among you, among them. Right, right because that's because only a prophet can condemn you, man. That's right. All right. Go ahead, brother. Second Corinthians 10, 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, right, but God. mighty through the most high, pull, to the pulling down of strongholds, Casting down imagination. Right, and our weapons is this word, man. The truth, man. You know? Go ahead, read that again from the top, brother, Bob Kushaw. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Right, our, our weapons, are, our warfare is not carnal, man. You know? We're pulling down all strongholds, man. That's right, brother. Through the scriptures, man. Go ahead. Right. And, and, we're, and we, mentioned, we mentioned those strongholds earlier, man. Yep. Anything that's a distraction in this kingdom, man. That's right. All right, man. Anything that's contrary to the scriptures, man, is a stronghold, man. You, you, you fucking believing in the fucking flowers and the trees, the stars and the quasars. Jesus you believe Christ. in Jesus. You believe in, in, in uh, not preaching Yahweh Shabbat, Shem Yahweh Shah. Anything contrary to this doctrine, man, is 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 uh is is um is a uh what no what do you say? Earl? A distraction. It's a, a stronghold. Nah, yeah, a stronghold. It's, it's like a stronghold. Like, it's a stronghold. And see, and, 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 and preaching this word, that's gonna wake up the elect, that's man. That's right. That's you know, right. that's gonna pull them up out of that that uh that stronghold they right. in, man. That trans, man. They gonna they gonna wake up like like damn, like the Thundercats. Remember yeah, that? That's right. Bro. Like like yeah, lion on, we do like sword. Yeah, brother. Thunder, 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 right. Thundercats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what went, went, went up? Man. Yeah. That symbol went up, man. Yeah. And that's that's what we're doing, man. We can't. Yep. We're, we're, we're uh, upholding that banner, man. Hey, I'm saying. Isaiah 13 and 1. Get, get that, brother. That, yeah, come on. We're upholding that banner, man. And our people going. The reason why we we named so many philosophies because our people going off anything, man. All everything. Look at this one here. Get the camera, man. But really, but really, that's spiritual, bro. Because we're gonna be having jewels like that in the kingdom, man. But she's nuts. She's gone on this side, bro. You know? She knows she's right, Israel right there. Yeah, she probably do. She, she probably she do. She got, a, she got her head covered and stuff. Yeah, she got but, a dress on. Yeah, calm, calm. She's been doing that for a, a couple of times. I see her right. Matter of fact, and then, you know, I, you know, hey, man, hey, hey, the spirit be working heavy, man, with some of these people that, that the American so-called deem is crazy. Remember that one spot we went to? And the one cat that went and stood out there, he said, man, and 
I got y'all, man. I got y'all. All you do is yeah. sit out there, man. We're like, man, dude. You yeah. know, yeah, bro. OG high school. I got a preset. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Psalms 25, it says, we will rejoice in the salvation in the, the name of the, in the name of our God. We will set up our banners for the Lord to fill all they shall petitions. That's right. Hey, man, that's the field of banners, man. Psalms 25, it says, I will rejoice in thy salvation, and in thy name of our power, right. we will set up our banners, and the Lord. And that name is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. That's right, man. That's that name, man, that, that we, we setting up in this banner, man. Yeah. Holding up. We hold up that name, man. Yeah. We glorify that name, man. You're supposed to glorify that name, because that's that name is the only way to salvation. That's right, brother. You know? And that's, that's basically Not the Jesus Christ, Nate. Right. All right. It says, and the Lord will fulfill all of our petitions. You got it? Yeah. Hold on, hold let on, him hold on, let hold on, because that go, that go right back, back to back. With okay, that. okay, this, go ahead. This go two, ahead. Wait, what is this? That's casting down the stronghold. Okay, yeah, yeah, hold on. Yeah, go yeah. ahead, just go right with that. Then yep. go back, go ahead. Uh, 13, uh, One. Yeah, yeah, right here. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 1. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of uh, Amos. 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 Now look, it says the Amos. burden of Babylon. Uh -huh. So that's a burden to the so-called white man that we coming out here and telling them boldly to his face that look, man, everything that's wrong with the world is your fault, man, on every level. So what are you talking about don't get on the white man, Nate? The scripture said the burden of Babylon, man. The burden, the burden of Babylon is to hear about his kingdom coming down, man. Right. They hear about, you know, uh, him going into uh, 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 slavery, man. The so-called white man going into slavery, man. That's a burden to him, man. That's why, see, that. Yeah, that's how we know you took that purse, that Jewish purse, Nate. You know? Hey, hey Esau told you, hey, tell him to stop doing that. <laughs> tell him to stop doing that, Nate. Well, I'm going to take my me. money away from I you, Nate. Right. <laughs> and now I'm going to kill y'all, too. Man, he going to do that anyway. Hey, you know it's so crazy? Because in the very beginning, when he first got his church yep. with that 501c3 charter, the brothers already said that your ass took the Judas purse, man. And now it's just coming full a circle. You, still, you, you, don't want, you don't want the name to be taught, and you don't want us to get on Esau. So what is your purpose of even you saying that you're this one right now? Because he part of that distraction we was reading about, man. Say to keep these people in their imagination. And he's Isaiah, uh, he's uh, Jeremiah 48 10, man. Right, right, right. Earlier, man. He, he's he's that, going to work in the Lord to see people. That's right. Con, he, 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 that, he that false prophet that's prophesying lies and deceit. Right. Like these other false prophets are, man. He's set up to keep them all asleep, man. And that, hey, and that ain't even a so-called white man that got it like that. That's the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. right. Go ahead. Finish reading what you got, brother. Which Isaiah the son of Amos did see, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Right. And we up on the high mountain, man. That mountain is America, man. And that's what we doing, man. We we lifting up that banner, man. We do that week in and week out, man. And that's that's the prophesy this place down, man. Go ahead. Upon the high mountain, uh -huh. exalt the voice unto them. Right. And that's what we do. We, we exalt our voice, man, like a trumpet, man, to the people, man, to, to, to Israel. Go ahead. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the noble. And that's what we doing, man. We shaking our hand by what? We telling you about nuclear thermal missiles coming, man. And if you don't repent, the Lord is going to destroy you. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. man we repent. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Destruction is coming to America. Destruction is coming. Nuclear thermal fire is coming, man. I mean, if you don't get right with the Heavenly Father, you're going to get destroyed, man. It's as simple as that, man. It's that damn simple. Wake the hell up if you are the elect. 
Go ahead. Hey, Baba Bashar, hey, read that verse over again. Somebody get Jeremiah uh, 1 and 6. You say Look shake the hand? Yeah, okay. that's that rebuke. Yeah. Shake the hand mm -hmm. that they may go into the gates of the nobles. All right, who got Jeremiah 1 and 6? Jeremiah 1 and 6. Then said I, ah, Lord, most high, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. Keep reading. But the Lord said unto me, say, say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. And that's one of the commands. Go shake the hand, go into the gates of the noble. All right, keep reading. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let's mount on that. Hold on, he ain't done. Keep reading. That one part, though. You've seen the turn of wood. Remember when he was a little baby, and he was running from the little phantoms and whatnot, right? And then in the end, when that turn up, became a grown man. He was a shield. He was a protector of his, his, his younger self. Mm -hmm. and, and who was the phantoms, man? It was Esau, man. This are the gates of the noble, bro. The gates of the noble is talking about the elites, man. Yeah, the, the going gate. to the gate, right? You say what? Going to the gates, right? Going to the gates of the nobles, man. Yeah. yeah. That's what we're doing. Because they like like the apostle Tower, uh, like the elders say, man, they, they they see this, man. They know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? What the scripture say? It said the devil knowing he got a short time. How do the devil know he got a short time? Right. Because these prophecies, these prophecies, these prophecies the coming to pass, man, rapidly. Right. You know? Right, huh? That's why he got to have the distractions set up. Yeah. That's why he been having them set up ever since slavery. Yeah. Hey, beating your nationality yeah. out of you. You know? Taking your nationality away and making you a lost people, man. Right. You know? That's what he did, man. Right. That's part of one of the device, one part of one of Satan's devices, man. Right. Because he knew that he got a short time, man. So he was like, let me try to prolong this thing, man. Yeah. So, so like it. go ahead, brother. Yeah. Go with some more on that. Yeah. Some more. Then the Lord uh, put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. So we speaking, thus saith the Lord. We speaking, thus saith the scriptures. Sure. The, the, these, the, these the most high's words. Keep reading. See, I have this day set thee over the nations. I have set thee over the nations. Mm -hmm. So the prophets of the Lord is, is above everybody on this world, man. To do what? Keep reading. And over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down. That goes back to the, the cast down them strongholds Strong and them right. imaginations. To root, to read it over. To root out and to pull down. And to pull down, keep reading. And to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant. Yeah, right. so you 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 cast down these strongholds and these imaginations. Like, no, man, look, uh, that Baptist wrong. This the nigga that invented that. This was such and such so-called white man. He was Illuminati Mason, etc. Right. He's like, well, I'm an Egyptologist. Like, no, man, this the nigga that started that. Ooh, such and such. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm right, saying? Right, right. Casting it down. Man, and, and the only ones that's gonna wake up. <laughs> right, God. That's right, God. Right. 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 The only God. ones that's gonna come, that's gonna cast. Come up out of that shit and cast it down. Here's the elect. But that's who getting rooted and planted. That's you know right. Scripture said, I, I uh, when you read that verse, just read it over again, Baba Kusha. The uh can I the part where it say I've given you uh I said the over the nations to root out cast down. What's that? Eight, that's where it say that. Verse 10. Okay. See, I have had, see I have this day set me over the nations. Over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy uh -huh. and to throw down to build and to plant. To right. build and to plant. What's being built and planted, man? The kingdom of heaven, the proper, the proper truth. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, teaching and edifying the hopeful and faithful elect. Corinthians 10 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the folks tied to the pulling down of strongholds. Right, right, right. We not we ain't out here, you know what I'm saying, uh coming coming against this kingdom with no weapons, man, with no guns. We're not like ISUPK out here at the range practicing on shooting and shit, man. You know, because our weapons are not carnal, man. Or pulling down to this place, man. No, our weapons are spiritual weapons. It's yeah. the words of the Heavenly Father, man. You know, it's prophecy, man. That's right. 
Prophecy is the weapon, man, to pull down the uh, the strongholds of this wicked kingdom, man. Jeremiah 17 and 5. Go ahead, read. Real and real quick, because